Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and assalamu alaikum. We will uh, start in one minute with the Tilawat. Um, and if you could kindly please settle down, switch off your cell phones, and uh, we're actually just waiting some more people to come in, but we're going to get started anyway. So uh, we shall now commence with Tilawat. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Ar Rahman Allama al Quran Khalaq al Insan Allama al Bayan الشمس والقمر بحسبان والنجم والشجر يسجدان والسماء رفعها ووضع الميزان ألا تطغوا في الميزان وأقيموا الوزن بالقسط ولا تخسروا الميزان والأرض وضعها للأنام فيها فاكهة والنخل ذات الأكمام والحب ذو العصف والريحان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان خلق الإنسان من صلصال كالفخار وخلق الجان من مارج من نار فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان رب المشرقين ورب المغربين فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان جزاك الله uh, welcome to the CFO Conference 2011 hosted by the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Pakistan. In order to formally commence the conference, I would like to invite Mr. Saqib Masood, President of the ICAP, to uh, formally inaugurate the conference. Thank you. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Mr. Roger Tober, keynote speaker of this conference past presidents of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Pakistan, council members, members of the Institute, guests, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me immense pleasure to very warmly welcome you all to this third CFO conference being organized by the Institute. In the year 2010, the Public Accountants in Business Committee, led by Mr. Yaqub Sutar, organized the two conferences the appreciation and the encouragement from the members have made it a cherished tradition. As such, now it has become an annual event. And Mr. Yaqub Sutar is committed to hold at least two conferences every year until he is, the, he is leading the committee, this committee. More than 80% of the ICAP members and other professionals employed in business and industry make it vital for the institute to cater and provide for their needs and expectations. The purpose of CFO conference is to bring together the stalwarts of the professional sphere and in industry and provide them a platform to engage and contemplate the challenges and the solutions. Finance department of any organization can rightly be termed as the backbone and the CFO has the key role unlocking the complete and the bigger picture. 
the CFO is expected to manage the financial health of any organization, foresee, plan, mitigate the future risks. Perhaps the greatest aftermath of the recession is for the CFOs, as the general public now expect more than just reporting of the financial statements. However, the accountants can no longer operate as the back end and is now need is a need of the hour for the accountants to lead from the front. In today's borderless world, survival is not possible in exclusion. It is an era of dynamism and growing together. The corporations are operating in a volatile business environment where realities change rapidly. The CFOs, in addition to ensuring that the finance is integrated across the enterprise, must have a gross, strong grasp of overall business objective so they can provide guidance and early warnings when circumstances dictate a change. And, of course, that's why I believe is the greatest challenge for any CFO in the present times. The economic crisis has left the finance function stretched by additional responsibilities and rapidly changing market dynamics require nimble operations to, to quickly adopt new business realities. The CFOs anchor the business and for this purpose need to broaden their horizons and understanding of the overall business operations rather than staying focused in accounting. The year 2011 didn't start on a very positive note. The World Economic Situation and Prospects report developed by UNCTAD paints a gloomy picture of global economy. With meager growth around 3%, which doesn't seem sufficient to spur recovery of the jobs that were lost during the economic crisis. Neither the things look rosy at the local front, with estimate of GDP growth within range to 2.5% to 2.8%. However, even in the darkest times, silver lining exists in the, for, uh, in the forecast that Asian developing countries would continue to promise strong growth performances, which provide a great cue for us to increase collaborations in trade and trade relationship with the Asian giants. 2000 year, ladies and gentlemen, is a special year to all, to those all associated with the Institute, being the golden jubilee year of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Pakistan. I am sure I echo sentiments of the entire membership when I say ICAP is a symbol of pride to be associated with. Our professionals with their unmatched expertise and capabilities have established a brand of professional competence across the globe not only in Pakistan, but our 20, more than around 25% members work and live abroad. The Institute has always facilitated the members and others associated with it in their pursuit of professional development and continues the tradition by bringing forth the platform like the CFO conference. Professional Accountant and Business Committee of the Institute deliberates on the issues of the members in business and industry and work towards the solutions. We are exploring various other avenues for the professional 